I just learned the right way to productize web design services and it's making me realize that I've been doing this wrong all along. So in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to take your design services and turn them into a resellable product. And by doing this, you're going to cut your project time by 90% and you're gonna make it way easier to find new clients. Also, if you stick around till the end of this video, I'm gonna show you a bunch of different examples of real client websites that have been built with templates using this productized system. So let's get into it. So the entire process that I'm gonna be sharing with you in this video is not my own. In fact, it was taught by a good friend of mine, Fernando Alvarez Jr., inside of my private community, Pay Pro. And the first time I watched this training, it completely opened my eyes to the potential of productizing services and basically eliminating all of the worst parts of being a designer. So before we get into any of this, I just wanna thank Fernando and if you would also like to thank Fernando, you can do that down below in the comments. All right, so the first thing that we need to figure out is what even is a productized service? Now services like design are almost always unpredictable. And when you're kicking off a project, it's almost impossible to anticipate all of the inputs, outputs, and all the moving variables to that project, which means that most projects end up going past their deadline and they end up being way more work for you as the person doing the work. So the act of productizing that service basically means that you eliminate all of those unexpected variables and you turn your service into a set package that is the exact same for every single client. So in other words, it's a templatized website process rather than a custom one. Now productizing your services will not only make fulfillment way easier for you, but it actually makes it way easier to land new clients too. But before we get ahead of ourselves, there's one thing that you absolutely must do if you want this entire system to work for you and that is choosing and committing to one specific niche. By committing to a niche, you do four things for yourself. Number one, you make it possible to templatize because every single client project is going to be the same. It's in the same industry, they have the same needs, they have the same services, and so it's gonna make it way easier to create a template that can serve all of them. If every client is completely different in a different industry, nothing will ever be the same. The second thing it does is allows you to predict and deliver results because the more you work with this one specific type of client, the better you're going to get at knowing exactly what needs to be done and exactly what types of results your work can bring. So as time goes on, you're gonna get better at delivering those results. And then when you sell new clients, you're going to be able to promise real results with confidence. The third thing it does is it establishes you as an expert. So rather than just a generalist, you are a specialist and people always revere specialists more and they're willing to pay specialists more because they trust you and feel like you have exactly what they need. And number four, which is often overlooked, is referral potential. If you work with a bunch of random niches, your referral potential is near zero. But if you work in one specific niche, the chances of you getting referred to other business owners in that niche goes way, way up because in that niche, all of these business owners they spend time together, they go to conferences together, and they help one another. And so if you work in just one niche, you're going to get way more referrals. Now, if you're not sure what niche is right for you, you can do a little research. Honestly, you could even ask ChatGPT what are a bunch of unique niches that you could target for web design. But honestly, I don't think there's a wrong answer for this as long as you fully commit to it and it's an industry that you have a little bit of interest or experience in. Now, I'm not saying that dentists and law firms are bad niches, but I am telling you that there are other niches out there that are way less saturated and are going to be way easier for you to find success in. So now that you have a set niche, you can do more than just offer general web design services to anyone. Instead, you can offer a three-page sales website for equipment rental companies that is guaranteed to increase their rentals by 300%. Or you offer proven one-page landing pages for pest control startups that will help validate their company and bring in 10 additional sales every single month. These are the types of offers that you can package and create and it gets much easier to sell because they're so much more captivating than just general services. So Fernando is the perfect example of this. The niche he chose is entertainment companies and he chose this niche because he also runs his own entertainment business. And so he understood 
what their needs were. He understood how to drive leads. He understood what types of websites these people needed. And so it was a really easy niche for him to fully commit to. Now you might be thinking, this doesn't seem like a very profitable niche. And you might be right. Maybe you can't sell a website to one of these entertainment businesses for as much money as a custom law firm website. But Fernando can knock one of these websites out for a few thousand dollars in just a few days. So while you and I are out hunting for the 10 or $15,000 law firm client, Fernando is knocking out multiple of these smaller niche websites every single month. And it actually takes very minimal work. Now, one of my very favorite parts about this strategy is pretty much everything is reusable. So layouts, different design systems, content, images, any strategies can be reused for every single client. And this is going to save you a ton of time. Here are just a few sites that Fernando has built for clients. And you'll see that all of these site sections pretty much look exactly the same. They all seem to follow the same layout, content pattern, but they're tailored specifically to each brand. So as long as you're creating a website that's going to work for your clients and help them accomplish their goals, they don't care if it looks the same as somebody else's website. And most clients are gonna be thrilled because it's going to cost them way less and the turnaround's gonna be way quicker. You could have this built in a few days instead of a few months. Another benefit of using this strategy is the more client sites you complete, the easier it gets because your library of reusable assets is growing and so is your experience. And so you know exactly what needs to be done and you can get more efficient at doing it. So in other words, every project you get smarter and faster and every project your clients get better and better results. So now that we've gone through all of that, there's just one last step and that is nurturing your clients and working to deserve referrals. Like I mentioned before, working within one specific niche makes your referral potential off the charts. And all you have to do is deserve to be referred. Make sure that you do a great job with every single project and you take good care of your clients and I can guarantee they're going to refer you. And then once you've established yourself in this niche, you have multiple clients, you're getting referred to as the expert, then you can do what Fernando has done where you start offering productized SEO services and Google ad services, but that's a topic for another video. So if you wanna watch that entire 52 minute training by Fernando, just go to paidpro.com and join as a member. You get access to not only that training, but about 30 other trainings and resources to help you grow as a designer. So thanks so much for watching this video and we'll catch you in the next one.